My name's Deb Sinter and I work in talent management at Hillshire Brands. We were really looking to drive a culture of high performance. So back at the time, we had been through a transformation, done a lot of consolidation in terms of focusing our business, um, getting out of businesses that weren't core to us, um, and started the journey towards a more focused um, organization. I think because in the past we had been more of a holding company, um, we really needed to focus our leaders around you know, driving the culture of one company. In the past we'd run as many separate companies. And so we really wanted to give our managers globally the tools that they needed to be consistent in terms of how they managed their people, how they coached people, how they uh, engaged with their employees. And our engagement survey data really um, reinforced the fact that our employees generally felt that their immediate managers were not always 100% effective. The solution that we put in place was the DDI product known as Interaction Management. And um, that was the program that we chose uh, for a couple of different reasons. One, because there were courses that specifically targeted the skill sets that we were trying to target, things like coaching, performance management, effective communication, and uh, also because it gave us a lot of flexibility in terms of deployment. So it was a solution that was global. There was um, the ability to you know, roll this out in a global organization. We also had the ability to run it internally. So the idea of being able to certify internal people to facilitate the program was um, important to us too. We put about 5,000 people managers through the program, so they've been through multiple courses. In 2010, we re-ran our uh, engagement survey, and we actually saw an improvement in the areas that we were targeting. So two in particular, development and learning and um, manager effectiveness, were had been in the bottom um, three categories of our 12 categories in 2008. They were actually in our top three in 2010. So we really saw the needle shift um, from 2008 to 2010. And then the other thing that we did in conjunction with DDI's um, measurement group was a, behavior, uh, a behavioral survey post-training to see if the actual behaviors had adjusted, both with the participants of the training as well as their managers. And what we got from that was about 70, a little over 70% um, improvement in behavior uh, from the point of view of the participants after training versus before, before training and their managers scored even higher. They said that they saw the behaviors improve by 90% um, after the training. So they were seeing people exhibit the behaviors that we were trying to teach to.